are seeing a little bit of fog. In fact, Fallbrook, now I'm talking to you, <laughs> visibility is less than half a mile. And I'm going to be tracking that through the morning, but other areas are looking pretty good. Maybe at some of the higher elevations, but for the most part, the marine layer clouds are off the ground this morning. It is pretty warm, though. I mean, it's not warm, but <laughs> when you think, put things in perspective, mid to upper 50s for most of the county and in the South Bay, all, all the way up through downtown, temperatures are starting off in the 60s. In fact, even Julian, 62 degrees this morning. So high pressure going to be the story this week. Not quite as strong as it was over the weekend when we did have some record setting heat uh, on coming through on May 5th on our Cinco de Mayo. In fact, so I put the icon fog on here. It sets the marine layer. We're going to see that sea breeze kind of strengthen up as we end into, especially the end of the week. So overnight and morning clouds will be the trend. Not quite as warm. In fact, temperatures do drop three to 10 degrees compared to yesterday. But temperatures are still near to about 10 degrees above normal. So even though we are cooling off, it's still warmer than normal. We'll see minor warming Tuesday and Wednesday along the coastline. We're not going to see too much change. Temperatures will generally be in the 60s this week. I am forecasting 70 degrees though on Wednesday. Inland neighborhoods, the warmest day will be Wednesday, mid 80s. So again, still not as hot as the 90s we were just experiencing. With mid 70s Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we'll see slower clearing of the marine layer Friday into the weekend as that sea breeze strengthens. Temperatures Temperatures back in the 80s by Wednesday in our mountains and very hot all week long in the deserts.